Well, today's poem may actually be better than a cat video. And I know that's a tall order. So let's dig right in. The poem is called Lily and the poet, and a very talented poet, Francine Marie Tolf. The poem Lily goes like this. At 53, at 53, I sometimes feel a subtle but irreversible sadness seeping into my blood. I have failed at important things. I long for a home I could love. That first stanza is so amazing to me. I don't know if you can relate. I certainly can. It's different points in my life. She says, at 53, I sometimes feel a subtle, a subtle but irreversible sadness seeping into my blood. I have failed at important things. I long for a home I could love. But recently, but recently, I brought into my thin-walled apartment a young cat who is not at all sad. If a goddess had held this stray by the heel and dipped her in brightness as the infant Achilles was dipped, she could not be more golden, the gold of a jar of marmalade quivering in sun. Sometimes, sometimes she presses her nose against mine, wonderingly. But more often, but more often, Lily attacks my ankles with sheathed claws. Then somersaults onto her back to gaze at me upside down. I can no longer leave drawers open or pens lying about. My bathroom is smudged. My bathroom is smudged with paw prints. Last night on the bus, I remembered she was waiting for me at the front door. This hellion and my heart laughed. Sometimes she presses her nose against mine wonderingly, but more often Lily attacks my ankles with sheathed claws, then somersaults onto her back to gaze at me upside down. I can no longer leave drawers open or pens lying about. My bathroom is smudged with paw prints. Last night on the bus, I remembered. Last night on the bus, I remembered. She was waiting for me at the front door. This hellion, this hellion. And my heart laughed. Now, <clears throat> If you've ever had a young critter, especially a cat, but a, a puppy as well, you can imagine this scene um, that uh, the poet uh, Francine Marie Toft is describing. And you also can imagine the kind of uh, importance in our lives often, the connection that we can have with these little amazing critters in our lives. I made a note uh, as I was reading this poem. I've loved this poem for a lot of years, but I just recently found it again uh, in a stack of poems and uh, wanted to feature it uh, in this podcast today. Um, the note I made is sometimes we must recalibrate our lives, acknowledge, and even embrace our long list of undone important things. And without denying a single thing or heartache, embrace a magic healing elixir-like word, but, as is used in this poem. This but, when added to the word recently, might mean and point toward a most delicious feature of our lives and relationships. Cat, dog, human, redwood tree, river. In such cases, we do not erase or reverse or even diminish our sadness. However, we float it in a larger context where joy and surprise and even happiness can exist right there beside pain and grief and loss, a place where equanimity 
can do its magic. I was thinking about, of course, the uh, in the first of the second stanza of the poem, she says she talks about this um, subtle but irreversible sadness that has seeped into her life, talking about all the things that she hasn't done, all the things that she's failed at in her life. But then that second stanza starts like this. But recently, I brought into my thin walled apartment a young cat who is not at all sad. Oh, what a joy <laughs> to have a relationship with a critter or, of course, another human being or a redwood tree or a river or mountain that has our uh, heart laugh when we think about that being that we are in relationship with. Lastly, my note, as I was rediscovering the joy of this poem, I said, we humans only become ourselves and maybe even magic versions of ourselves in relationship with others and the great other, the natural world, of course. So it turns out this community of critters, humans, trees, plants, mountains, mushrooms, rivers, and all of such um, sentient beings that we can hang out with and be in relationship with, they are pretty darn important to us. They are pretty darn foundational to our lives and to our joy, even in the midst of sadness, even in the midst of an irreversible sadness at times. Thank you so much for your listening ear. Uh, until next time and next poem, please take good care of yourself. And if you can,